Dear students, today we are on the second module of the same concept about layered approach to internet softwares. So in the last module, here we ended up that we have four hierarchies or layers in computer science or computer system to when different softwares over the network communicate with each other. And first one was application, then transport, network, and link layer. So basically, uh, these layers are present on both sides of the communication network. So for example, if a server at Lahore wants to send some packet to a server or computer at Switzerland, so the sending will be done from top to bottom. Like first the application layer will prepare the top, the uh, basically data and then it will hand it over to the transport layer which will further give this packet to the network and link layer and at the receiving end the packets or data will be received at li by link layer and it will give it back to network and then transport and then application layer. So we will discuss it in further details. So basically, first of all, what is an application layer? Application layers are software like clients and servers. So whatever the softwares are installed on as an application on both computers are studied at application layer. And those are not only the applications, those could be some utility packages like FTP, remote login, so all of such softwares are also studied at application layer. And then it uses, this application layer uses transport layer as you used shipping company to transport your data further to the network layer. And correct addressing using the name servers is also the responsibility of application layer. And then is the transport layer. So transport layer receives messages from application layer. Check whether the, the messages are properly formatted and accurate and transmission over the internet. It divides the main uh, basically work of the transport layer is to divide long messages into small uh, data which is sometimes called packets. So, for example, if there is a long data of 1000 bytes, so those could be converted into 100, 100 bytes data set and each one will be called a packet and it will assign the sequence number to the packets as well that this is the first packet and this is the second packet, this is the third packet and so on. And then hands over packets to the next layer that is called network layer. So the network layer decides the direction to which the packet should move and network layer work very closely with the link layer. Link layer transfer packets from one computer or one uh, software to another computer. However, that packet should follow which path will be uh, basically supervised by the network layer and the link layer will be transmitting all of the packets. So let's have a scenario that how this will happen actually. So the application layer prepare messages and provide destination addresses that where it should be sent. Transport layer chops messages into small packets and those packets are given to the network layer. That assign intermediate address to each packet. So network layer basically sees that your packet should be given or should be transported to the next which kind of router. So actually um, the routers contain the core part that is made by the network layer and the link layer. Then the link layer is transferring the packets from one router to another router and then network layer is basically supervising the link layer that next time this packet should go where by using the forwarding table which we learned in one, one of the previous modules and these steps could be multiple so for example there could be such 50 steps to actually reach your packets to the destination and then network layer decides that oh this packet has been received to the destination router 
so the network where this was pointing so that has been reached so at that point network layer gives that packet back to the transport layer and then transport layer after collecting packets and reassembling all of the packets in a sequence and making the whole message and then that is given back to the application layer so if we summarize today's topic we have learned application layer transport layer network layer link layer and we have seen a practical scenario as well